we are about to go fly fish in some Montana waters. Super excited. Let's go. We have made it to a fishing access point here in Montana, Livingston, just outside of Livingston, Montana. This point is called Chicory and it is one of the only ones that doesn't have a boat ramp. It is Saturday on Labor Day weekend, so we're trying to avoid the crowds as much as possible. As you can see behind me, there's a boat launch over here. As he walks in the way. So yeah, they're just piling into the river. But it's looking good on our side. Looking good. Beautiful Yellowstone River. A little windy today. So we'll see how we fare as fly fishing newbies. Trusty companion must always be with us or he freaks out. Hot, out of breath already. Let's do this. We'll be using a red hopper ish fly. I will be using a black and copper nymph. Let's see who wins. Hey guys, so we just got through fishing. Man, we spent, God, probably four or five hours out here. It's crazy, it's crazy hot right now. How many fish did we catch? 15? Zero. 16? Oh, what? Zero. Oh, yeah, we caught nothing. <laughs> and we only spent like an hour, max. But, you can cut that part, Shannon. Uh, we had a great time. It's a beautiful day. It's hot. Hot, hot, hot. It's very hot. Oh my god. just got done shopping and Mark just scored these pork chops from Albertsons they were buy one get one free so we have 18 pork chops to grill tonight <laughs> so we will be grilling outside here, a little area 
little backyard of sorts and we will be having a good time what you say As usual, we find ourselves on a crazy bumpy road. Right out here. Don't know where the hell we are. Yes, we just end up in weird spots whenever we adventure. And so what are we trying to do today? Well, we're trying to eat lunch, first of all. Find some painted tables, maybe. I don't know. And then we well, we're exploring highlight highlight canyon just south of bozeman skipper has skipper has quite the fun trying to balance on these roads that are so bumpy oh my gosh it's pretty funny He's got his tail oh, yeah. braced <laughs> on the back of the seat. <laughs> this is, I'm on a washboard road, bumpy road position. It's hilarious. Headed to have a nice picnic, relaxing next to the creek. We are going to attempt one of these trails back here. Somewhere. There is a lot going on today. Going to Crescent Lake. Crescent Lake. See if we can catch a fish. A lot of people this time had spinning gear though. Good yeah. Sign for us. Yeah. We're pros at spinning. Yeah. So Crescent Lake. 1.4, 1.3. See so you can go both ways. Is that a way? You choose. Probably this way, guys. Okay. Wide and easy it is. Yeah. We're in our sandals. Yeah. As usual. We also left our bear spray at the store. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can't bite the bullet. I'm biting any bear spray no, yet. Just yet. We're getting closer and closer, though. All right. Let's do this trail. Cue B-roll footage. Wow, look at this. 
we stumbled into this beautiful valley. Oh man. It's awesome. But we have failed to find the lake. Yeah. But look at this. This is dope. We feel this is a huge little valley. Wow. I've never really been in a valley like this, you know? In between two rooms. Yeah. Nope. Me neither. It gets super cool, wow. man. We're just at the base. You wanna go walk over there? Yeah. <laughs> There's that car trail. Yeah. Told you. Right. Wow, this is a cool feeling, man. I have to say, this is a cool feeling. Get some of the hillside back there. Cool, super cool. Man, strange feeling. Well, we didn't find Crescent Lake, but we did stumble after what ended up being at least two and a half, three mile hike. Easy hike, but longer than we expected. Stumbled across this awesome valley, just right here in the middle of it. Oh man, so cool. Really cool. What do we think? This is awesome. Just between these mountain ranges and the, I guess it's the Gallatin National Forest. So I suspect it's maybe the Gallatin Mountain Range. I don't know. We need to look at what we're actually in between right now. But it is very cool. Just popped out in the middle of. The Sawson Valley. You want to check out the river and then go? Sure. Get some hoppers. Looks like we've completed the trail. <laughs> the two mile markers. I don't know if they're mile markers, but it's definitely the end of a trail. We've now made it to the road. So I think in essence what we did was we just walked the entire length and some of the perimeter. We're way ahead of that big lake, whatever it was yeah. called. Right we're actually right. into the river. Yep. So we're gonna go check out the river and then probably double back, I don't know. Yes, we'll be doubling back, so I don't know where this Did not like the sound of that. Did you hear that? Yes, I Go. Heard it. Just fast. Yeah, so we just hit, came out of this trail. We're about to sit down and get some water. And we hear this like growl. Yeah. And so we started briskly walking away. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We'll, we'll get water later. <laughs> oh, that, oh, I did not like that. Oh my gosh. I was getting slow-mo of the river and then that happened, I wish I wasn't and I could have captured that, holy. Oh man, my heart's kind of racing a little bit. Um, so, were you filming when it happened? I don't know if I was in between shots or not. Dude, that was, that, was that wasn't like a motorcycle or something, was it? That was a... Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. We're going to put some distance from 
us and that whatever that sound was. <laughs> we'll catch up with you later. Jesus. Beautiful, but we're running from a animal of some sort right now. We're so prepared for this. So prepared. Smelled skipper. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Alright, let's move it. I'm feeling. So, we're now running. Just trying to make it a little faster. The sun's going down. Yeah. We are way hell into the trail. Yeah. Running from a bear, we think. <laughs> so, we're trying to make up some time. Because all we have is fishing gear. <laughs> I'm sure. This is going to be totally usable. All right, babe? Yeah. How are we doing? Good. All right. All right. Great time. Okay. It made a lot of yeah? <laughs> Making noise. Although, I don't know how much it's going to help. We're not making this up, I promise. Skipper's like, that was easy. There's a, I mean, you could feel that sound. Oh, I felt yeah. it. It was like, oh, I don't know how to describe it because I was standing on that wooden thing and I felt the vibration. Yeah. The wood. You know, <laughs> Like if you're standing next to a big cow or a bull and it kind of makes that deep sound. Yeah. It was like that, but it was further away with the same vibrations. I don't know if that right. makes sense, you know? It does. So you, can, you knew it was big. Yeah. Even if it was a moose. Yeah. I'm still, sorry, I'm paranoid now. Mm -hmm. Even if it was a moose, I don't want to run into a moose. No. Or a ram like we did on in Glacier. Okay, I'm gonna put the camera down. Yeah. We'll catch up. Well, we kind of made it back to the lake a little bit, not really, but couldn't really go any further. Also noticed I dropped the road mic cover. Shannon went back to look for it a little bit. No bueno. So now our sound is probably gonna sound like crap. All right, we'll get a new one. Back to the trail. It's been pretty fun. We're both exhausted, but we've still got a ways to go. Yeah, I think we did about six miles. Yeah, I think, yeah, we're gonna look. And, I don't know. Five to six. But this is a cool little shot. Yeah. That's where we have to go at the dam way back. Here's a deceiving little bastard. Yeah, it was two and a half miles, huh? Uh -huh. We walked to that cabin. Did you even get it? I don't know. I was busy running from a bear. That's funny. Wow. So, maybe next time, just trying to learn trail reading, maybe this is the ultimate guide. Right. So we made it, as you can we see, that was the sign that kind of confused us, yes. so we're going to go lick our wounds. We made it though. Yeah, we made it. Right. We're at home, grab some dinner, luckily we already grilled a bunch of uh, pork chops, so we'll be having that. Yep. And sleep.
Big. Peace. Good morning, afternoon, what's up? Hey, so we just got back to Yellowstone Edge. We're still in Montana and we are about to do some late morning fishing. Yes. Fly fishing. Yes. Again. Ah, catch a trout, maybe, please. Maybe we'll catch something. I One don't know. One of these know. days. Yeah. Um, but we're going to walk right down the road there about... 50 yards to the river and yep. then we are going to do some fishing it's pretty hot it's 10 30 and it's supposed to be about 90 today in montana which feels about like you're on the sun yeah like elevation. you're on the tip of the sun so bringing texas with us like always yes. uh, the texas heat but we're going to take the gopro down uh because this 4k is a little hard to handle down the river and yep. all the rocks she's going to get her waders on and we're gonna get our boots on. We're gonna go get into that ice cold water. Yep. And catch some trout, y'all. Let's do it. All right, later. It's about 2.30 um, fishing day. Um, what do you think? You almost caught one. I hooked up with one. I hooked up with one. We both saw it. It wasn't the bottom. It wasn't a rock. <laughs> I saw it flash. <laughs> Promise. Yes. It was about a 10 to 12 inch one. It's okay. Uh, but it got off. So we tried for a little longer. Um, we had set the GoPro out. But it died. It had 11%. <laughs> Good job charging. No, it's not my fault. Yeah, it's her fault. Uh, so we've got it charging for a little bit longer. We came back here for lunch. Mm -hmm. um, a couple beers. Mm -hmm. I love this life. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and we're about to go hit the river again. Uh, we're going to take the GoPro and we're going to do some more fishing. We're going to fish all day today, I think. Yep. Because. I got that hook set and I saw the fish and it came off and now I'm like an insane guy over here. I have to catch a fish. Yes. So you have been insane. Yep. But you were before that. Uh, so here's the 4k update from inside the camper. We're going to leave this camera here and take the GoPro. I've been standing here for Oh, about two hours waiting on someone to put on their waders and boots. It's not easy, people. It's no. freaking waders. It's like ski, snow ski gear. Freaking sucks. It's sure. also hot out here. So I refuse to do it in the sun. Therefore, I must give her a towel. Look how cute she looks. <laughs> Look how awesome this place is. back from our fishing adventure yes um trying to close out the night uh we fished an hour maybe two i don't know and then we came back and had dinner um the important thing is is that we caught zero zero fish zero 
We yeah. are still zero fish in Montana. Yeah. Unfortunately. Yes. We are trying our hardest. But we will get one. We feel it. We had fun though today. It, it was, was a good day. day. Great good day. fishing day. Getting better at the fly cast, I feel like. Yep. It's getting better at waiting. So, all in all, good times. Yep. Good times. Peace. Hello, we are embarking on what day? Four? Five? Of seven? Ten? Fishing? A fishing. It's like six or seven. Six or seven. Trying to find the trout in this gosh darn. We're going to today. Yellowstone to. River back there. We're Exploring going a new spot. Way up the mountain range towards Yellowstone. Yes. So we're super excited, feeling re energized, pumped to find the trout in this land of Montana. So let's head out. Fish finder. Just yeah. came out of the canyon into the valley and it's gusting probably 30, yeah. 35. You can't fly fish in that one, especially way down in the trees over here. So we're gonna have to wait a little bit yeah. till probably this evening and uh, then we'll go fish. Headed to another fishing spot. We just can't sit still. We've been in the camper for a couple hours. Yep. Still hot as balls. He said it. Uh, <coughs> out there. So. Ooh. Wow. There you go. Oh, look at that lighting. Ooh, on point. Um, yeah. Headed to a spot called Loch Levin. It's actually one that the fishing guides the fly shop said to check out um, we've been there before but we went the wrong direction he said to go you know instead of going left go right for example so we're gonna try that out um, still really windy still hot so Conditions haven't changed much, but we just can't sit inside the camper. So we're gonna head out and try for some trouts.
are clearly leaving Loch Levin with the awesome road. And we did not catch a single trout. What do you know? No. Closing thoughts. Um, it was a great, beautiful spot. I had a great time fishing it with my baby. Yes. Um, just no dice, man. No dice. No dice. Yes, and this road is very bumpy. We are headed back to the... <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> we are headed back to the camper. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm trying to talk here. We are headed back to the camper to eat some dinner. We had a great time trying to catch something. It's called fishing people, not catching for a reason. That's right. All right. off of it and just had a hook. I caught a grasshopper and I hooked it and then put it on top of the water or just threw it in the water, tied it to a boat ramp and it was just floating on top of the water and I left to go swimming or something. I came back and the rod had been broken in half like and the line was broken and the rod was broken. Is that recording? Oh wow. Yes. Cool story bro. Cool story bro. What's going on? Nothing. <laughs> he turned off on that crazy road without me knowing. I was messing with the camera and he just decided to go down. There's not even any openings of views for the canyon, so we're gonna turn around. Try to keep going. Yes, turn around, don't drown. <laughs> we're turning around again. It'd be cool if we can snag a spot down there though. Yeah, super cold. Get off this bumpy road. That'd be cool too. Just kidding, I'm just being funny for the camera. Shoot, forgot my hat. Fail number one, just kidding. So, we finally made it about 100 yards up the trail. Decided to turn around and go get our fish and stuff. Just in case, because you know we'd regret it if it was awesome. We're not sure if this is actually leading to Crescent Lake, so. Giving it a shot. Hello. Hi. We're still on the trail. Yes, but we made it back to civilization. Check it. It's pretty. It's the most beautiful sight in the world. I'm dying of thirst. Yes. We were so ill prepared for this. Two Texans in Montana <laughs> trying to trailblaze. I don't know. <laughs> Freaking idiots over here. Hello. Hey, so, um, it is about 2.30. We forgot to do an update uh, when we got back. Uh, still the same day, fishing day. We went fishing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, maybe I should start over because the AC just turned yeah. off. All right, here we go. Oh, hey, here we are. We uh, forgot to update when we got back from the river. Um, it's about, uh, we left Skipper mm -hmm. last time. We're dealing with his separation anxiety, blah, 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 boring. I know this is boring, but I think it's boring. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to stay out of that sun. Hello! <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey! Hi, he's oh overexposed. My gosh. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, with his separation anxiety, 
So, but he's coming this time. We're gonna tie him up to a freaking tree. Yes. <laughs> tie him up to a tree in at the, the side of the river. And he'll have fun. He loves it. Okay. <laughs> We've cut this long time. <laughs> Bye. Useless. Goodness. <laughs> Race it with your tail, don't you, buddy? Just thinking about climbing through this area with my waders and boots. Makes me want to have a heat stroke. Uh, cause that. Nice buggy nastiness. Really hard to uh, do a vlog with that crap on your windshield. Thanks a lot, driver. <laughs> okay, so note to self, it's freaking hot everywhere we go dude it is hot it's hot. blazing like the sun is about a mile away from us up here and there's no wind there's no wind well, this morning there was too much wind yeah for fishing now there's no wind yep it's miserably hot it's like no shade to be found along the river it's crazy like or in the picnic areas um, it's pretty freaking desert out here. It's really weird. Montana. <laughs> yeah, like, what the hell? So I think we're gonna, since we, since we're able to move our home around, we're gonna go north again. Like, this is crazy. I mean, why, like, it's hot. We need to get to places where we can boondock and, and also have a picnic outside and not have weird looking bees come at you. Oh sh they're hey No it's disgusting. Whoops. Cheers. Rough mate. I'm digging this turkey. Turkey's good. At least we have food. Ooh, and the pepper jack cheese. Oh. <gasps> what a change. It's awesome. We've been having sandwiches every day for the past month. Oh. And we oh. just change it up. Yeah. With shade. Well, no more. Cloud. We just change it up with um, oh, yeah. pepper jack cheese. That is what's different and good. It's the pepper jack. Oh my god. Oh no. She just took the curb. She just took the curb out. Wow. I gave her plenty of room. Yeah, it's alright. Women drivers. Just kidding. <laughs> we are going to head to the camper and plan because we actually have our last night in Paradise Valley on Friday. Today is Wednesday. No, our last night is Thursday. Sorry. Or are we leaving Saturday? Are we leaving Saturday we, or Friday? Ooh. Because you said five days. Great. So it's Monday night, Tuesday night, Wednesday night, Thursday night, Friday night. So, oh. So we have till Saturday. We have. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so it's not as dire as we think. That was. That's good. Because I was like, oops. You know, we're. I'm. We gotta get like ahead of the game a little bit. I was planning because it's becoming like ah. Nah, it's pretty fun though. We're just kind of like really wherever the wind takes us. No pun intended. <laughs> ah, uh, we are just going with it. Like we literally, I guess we have a few more nights here, and we don't have a plan as to where we're going next.